What's up guys, we are back here with a brand new phone game, Heroes Generations Regen. This is going to be for all devices to my understanding, so iPhone, we're currently playing on iPhone, Android, Windows, uh, even like Linux, Macs, all those other crazy things. This also is going to be a uh, browser PC game, and one of the best parts of this is that it can be played in airplane mode. So, I'm pretty sure it's a buy to play game. Uh, we haven't got complete confirmation on that, but I have not seen any ads or any cash shops in here, so we are on a little bit of our early access here. Things could change, but it does look like a buy-to-play game that you can play in airplane mode. You don't need internet connection. What you do is you're going around on this kind of like board game map, and you're trying to explore, become the most famous warrior that there is. And you progress. Every step you take, you're going to take one life off of your uh, hero's life. And at the end of the game, you'll have a stats page here, and so this gives you a legacy report. So in this game, we spent 2,461 years, and you have to breed, have sex with a female or male character, and then make a baby, and then you go through different generations, different life cycles. So we went through 20 generations, uh, total fame was 249,000, total gold 233,000, total kills, buildings made, quests. So let's go show you exactly what this is. I'll give you a quick um, game here. We're not going to go through the tutorial because I've, I've literally played the game twice now. And uh, I think I know everything, guys. You know, I'm an expert in this game. So it starts off Fog of War, your hero here. He has his life gauge here at 70 steps. Or if you die in combat, you're actually going to lose life. And generally, you lose 5 HP every time that you lose in combat. You've got these buildings on the sides here. So over here is a farm and we're now in combat. So someone moved into the space that we wanted to go into and our combat power rating is zero or one. So we're gonna roll dice and we're gonna either a zero or a one. Her combat power rating is zero or two. And sadly, you don't get to pick your name for the first time. So we are Beef Bowl. What a great generated name by the game company here. Um, so yeah, we are Beef Bowl and we can run away. If you run away, you lose this fame. We don't have any fame right now. We are just a no-level, nothing, fameless person. So right now, if we roll the dice, you know, we, we got a 50-50 chance to get a zero or a 50-50 chance to get a one, and we're not really going to beat her. There's no way. Our power is just it's not strong enough. So we're going to run away here. She has a life gauge as well, so that pushes us up to a different spot. So that was our first turn. You can see now that our, our gauge, our health gauge, is down to 69. As you progress several um, years in the game, several steps, you're gonna become an adult. Right now we're a child at age 16, and we're just trying to stay alive pretty much at this point. So we're gonna get the tree over here, which is gonna give us actually plus seven, so the trees all have different random benefits on them. That one specifically gave us plus seven. Next time we get that, it could be like, you know, uh, attack up, it could be uh, gold, so we picked up a statue here. You have two item slots. The item slots are very, very important. You want to make sure that you, you know, always have two items going. And then if you're full, you can swap things out. This statue actually will give us fame because this is a like an artifact. And now the boss is pissed off because we've got the statue. What you have to do with the statue is you have to take it back to one of these towns. So we're taking the town and there we go. We've completed the quest. We just got 500 fame. So now, if we were to fight someone and then run away, we would lose fame. The farm over there will actually generate gold. If we look into the houses here, the houses all have hearts on them. It shows you there's someone that you can mate with. And they all have requirements. So this one is have a thousand gold. And we have that, so we're okay to mate with him. We can mate with this funky dude right here. And yeah, so it shows you some stats of him, shows you what kind of um, like traits he possibly has that you could potentially get. This one, add one rare strength card and one reveal card on your child's parenting board. We'll show that off in a second once we do a mating session. So he's a nice catch. You're gonna get 500 fame bonus for mating with him. And this shows you how many steps he's gonna actually be here. So we have 68 steps left. He's got 61 steps left before he dies. Everyone in this game will actually die. So if we just keep walking around, and now gold's popping out of the buildings because that's what happened. Gold just generates out of buildings. So gold's generated in the farm, gold's generated in the building. And now once again, we are in here in a battle and it's Kema again, and we still can't beat her. We're still only one or zero strength. So now running away is gonna cost negative 50 fame. So we're gonna do that because 
if we don't, we fight, we're actually going to lose five health. She's going to beat us, and we're going to drop down five health points. Oh, no! We ran into another person, and again, we can't do anything, so we have to run away here. Zero and one is our attack power, and her power is zero to four, so no good. In the beginning of the game, you do oh! So you don't know where they're going, so she ran into the same spot. You don't know uh, the, the map layout. This is part of the game, is learning the map layout. And we just grew up, so we're an adult now. Now we've got 11 strength. And you'll notice that the animations on the heroes all change. So it looks like this person is now getting a little bit older. Uh, we've grown into adult status. If you hold down with a hard tap on the hero, we can now see Trish. She actually grew up too, so she was a kid before, and now she's an adult as well. So she's got 14 strength, so she's still actually stronger than us, but we could potentially fight her, and we have a decent shot at beating her now since our strength is at 11. We're going to collect the gold here, and this is a weapon area, so that just gave us plus 5 on our strength, on our power right there. So now we've got all these other zombies over here, and we're going over to attack the zombie. It's an even battle, so we can potentially fight. Let's go ahead and try this. And see if we can beat him. So we roll dice, he rolls the dice, and we win. 8 to 0 means now we take him down. We do 5 points of damage. He's only got 4 points of health. He dies, and now we have taken over this spawn point. This is actually a teleporter. So if you click on enter, it's going to warp us to the other section over here. We are now on top of another enemy. And let's see what he's got. So he is 0 to 19. And he's also at a passive bonus here, or a weapon bonus. So not only does he roll this number, he also rolls this number, and then he adds them both together. So let's show you here. We're probably going to lose, but let's see if we can get lucky. So we rolled a 10, he rolled a 7, and then he rolled a 0. So we end up beating him, taking him out, slapping him in the face. And now we have cleared both of the layers. So these are the spawn points of the monsters. They also do that warp teleportation. And now we've gained... 2,000 bonus fame for taking care of all of the monster spawn points. You can take a look at all the quests that are currently available in this specific region. And your goal is to gain fame because more fame will unlock more uh, buildings, the better heroes, better uh, warriors to mate with. So you can see gaining fame from killing bosses, going to all the trees. Let's be nice. We, I mean, you get a little bit of fame for killing other people, but it's not that much. In, in the beginning of the game, you're not really strong. 16 is not that strong. This on the right over here, the slash, shows you how much damage you'll actually do. Uh, because if you fight other humans, you're going to notice that they're going to have a lot of life. Just like you, so we have 46 life right now, so our life is ticking down. The clock is ticking, guys. we got to go find a mate. Uh, we can't mate with this one because she requires a baby. We don't have a baby. You have to build buildings to get these specific items. So if we were to build a baby, we can mate with this person. And we can click on these little icons and see what her traits are. She's going to be here for 40 more steps. So let's go build a building. You have to be in adjacent to a town. And now it unlocks all these building options down here on the bottom. As you progress, as you mate over and over again, you're going to unlock more buildings, more advanced things. So you got your basic stuff that is unlocked all. The farm here gives 400 gold every 10 years. Each year is one step. You have a barracks, which gives you 5 strength every 10 years. Adjacent boards give plus 1 strength. Observatory reveals 4 random clouds in the current world area when visited. Because everything goes back to being fog of war when you restart the game with a, a new child. Two times fame earned from completing ancient treasures. So that's the artifact one. When you bring that statue back there, you're going to get two times fame. This one, it adds one new mate to nearby town populations. So you're going to get more people to breed with. Let's go ahead and show that one off right here. So you can see there's a heart factory up here, heart factory here. And now this one has three heroes in it that we can mate with. We can't mate because the guy's on it. So we have to beat the guy. We'll go ahead and attack him. Hopefully we can roll. Oh no, so we lost. Two to nine. Now he's going to slash us. And we're going to drop down five life. So you can die pretty easily in the beginning of the game. Uh, we're going to try and hang out. And as time goes on, you get older. And 
We have now jumped up 10 more strength. That's the last time you actually gain positive benefits for getting older. The next two times, you're going to become a grandpa, and then you're going to become a sage, and those times, your strength power is going to decrease. So let's see here. We can meet with her, or meet with her. Taking a look at their things. Add one rare gold, one rare gold card. Let's go ahead and meet with that person in just a second. We're going to build up our town here, because the whole point of the game is to become strong enough to move out of your first starting area and explore the entire world and kill the final boss in the game. So we need to use our gold because the gold does not carry over. So let's build up some attack barracks. We have a thousand gold left. Let's grab some more of these. And then now we can build another attack barracks. And we're just going to farm some gold here. So we can keep building these attack barracks. And as you build around the village, the house, it's going to change based on what is around it. And now this will give different types of heroes with different types of traits. So you can see it's kind of like a war house. So if we go into this house. Ugh. Got a fight, guys. 26 to 21. Oh, 5 to 3. Barely beat him. So he's going to knock down 5 HP there. Or life gauge. And now if we enter here, this hero is going to be a more warrior type hero. He's also stunning, so he's actually a lot better in the rankings. He's going to give us a 1500 fame bonus. And his stats here are going to be all offensive base. Receive a 25% base strength bonus in combat. And again, strength bonus in combat. So... In order to mate with him, we actually have to be strong because this guy doesn't like weak people. So he needs us to be at least 56 strength in order to mate with him. So currently, we can't mate with him. If we keep collecting up those strength powers here, we'll eventually be able to mate with him. But our time is running out. We got 22 steps left. So let's go ahead and finish up our buildings over here, spend our money. Click on and see what that one does right here. Two times fame. Let's go ahead and build a farm. Oh, we don't have enough. All right, we'll have to build that thing. So it changes up our heroes. Let's see what we got in here now. We've got a nice catch, a nice catch. And we have a beauty. So generally you want to do the higher tier ones. The beauty here is going to give us a thousand mating bonus. Takes 50% more gold from mines. Your children and parenting board will have no gold bonuses, which is perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and mate with this person. So you click on her. And now they go in there, have some sex, pop out a baby. Your first playthrough is complete. And now you get to name the child whatever you want. So we'll just name him child for this. Now, this is like the DNA process. You get to pick five cards, and two of them are rare, four of them are traits, and it's just random of what you pick. So we got plus one on our life gauge, we got a plus seven on attack, plus one on our life gauge, and now a plus one on our attack. So our new hero is being generated, he's being born, and here we go, new hero has popped out. The cool thing about the hero is that if your original hero has items in his left and right hand those actually pass down to generations so you can use the same items over and over again so there's the final boss area it just showed you the final boss area and you can see the world is massive let's go ahead and zoom out so the final boss area is way down there guys and we're way up there. Look at all these tiles that there is to explore. And these are all randomly generated as well. So no two games will ever be the same. Let's take a look at our hero. We also got a trait too. 
We earn 20% bonus fame when you kill enemies and monsters. So she looks pretty cool. She's got a skull helmet on there. Her attack is at 9. She's going to do 5 points of damage. And we are ready to explore. So now you know we've built all these buildings around here. These buildings do have life as well. You can't see them, but they do have life. If you look... Let's go down here. If you look at the upgrade options and look at the buildings and you click on them, it will show you down in the bottom right here, the lifespan. So these barracks will last 180 years. Different buildings have different lifespans. That one's only 70. This one, the museum's 300. The baby maker is 140. Temple is 250. You can also repair these things. Repairing them is very, very important because they cost money to build and you're not always going to have money. So there's hammers you can pick up. And we just picked up a sword, guys. Look at that. So we now have a sword, a dagger, adds 0 to 3 strength to attack in combat. So we're going to get an additional bonus roll. Uh, we actually just dropped it on the ground. To pick it back up, you click on the bottom right there and it's going to go into your, your hand again. So you got to hard click on them to see the stats or if you just tap on them, they are going to disappear so we are growing our hero we just picked up an artifact now so it's in our other hand and now the boss is enraged and is pissed off he's gonna come try and kill us we're gonna go deliver the artifact to the house there pick up the gold pick up the gold and now let's start our quest to explore this island a little bit more because we're right now at 29 strength with five damage output Ooh, and everything just popped again so let's go back there and collect it and now it's time to just wreck people so look at this 0 to 34 against the 0 to 5 we're gonna roll and see what happens and kaboom he's done done take five damage and we gain a little bit of fame for beating him up we're gonna go attack this Ico this demon so we roll twice, we got a 3 on our initial roll, and we got a 2 on the other one, which comes out to a 5 total. Take him down, plus we're going to get the tree bonus right there. Let's go get that, and uh, we'll take a look at the bow. Oh, we didn't want to do that. So look we'll at the boss here, 60 points of damage. The boss also has 15 life gauge. His timer does not go down when he walks around, so you have to beat him down several times. We're currently a little bit too weak. But let's go take a roll here and see what happens. Oh, no, we just got slaughtered there. 24 to 51. And now he bites us. He actually hit for 10 points of damage, guys. So you definitely want to stay away from the bosses when you are underpowered. We just grew into an adult now. So we are 10 stronger. Let's go kill this zombie over here. But you'll notice our life gauge is already down to 43. So we are almost, uh, you know halfway dead with this hero even though we are really strong and we're able to just clean up monsters build up this fame by killing them because you see every time we kill them we're gaining a little bit of fame there and our fame is going up we're gonna go collect the trees we don't need any more strength because we're just i mean oh we're monstrous but look at that we got a horrible roll we got a two and we've taken five points of damage there so rng was not in our favor let's go ahead and go to the artifact here Let's see if we can roll beat him beat him it can happen you can roll really really bad so now we've got the artifact the boss is going to be enraged again and now he's coming after us let's keep running away from the boss moving down to kill this jet dude because we're trying to run away from the boss we don't want the boss to eat us and chomp us to death and we're hoping that there is actually a town down here we haven't been down to the bottom left corner of our, our area so we don't know if there's a town or a village that we can uh, deposit our artifacts so far we're not seeing anything the boss is getting closer but we're gonna be able to go around this circle path here this water is gonna protect us I think it, there is a town right there But we'll look, wow, we're already down to 26 life. It's craziness, isn't it, guys? So we can enter this, see who's here. There's two mates. These ones require fame. Of course, we're very famous. We have 5,000 fame right now. And this one requires 600 fame. 
This one's a commoner. This one is a nice catch. Both got the same kind of traits on there. Let's head out. We have a little bit of time left. We can also use our gold here. We always want to build up around the towns. Spin the gold because the gold does not go with you on your next playthrough. So we just unlocked this building. This building that we just built actually gives you plus two life. It regenerates around every 10 years. So if you build, if you build enough of them around the houses, the house will actually turn into like a healing house. And the healing house will give you plus three. So you can essentially kind of just like farm one area. We're going to go over here and we're going to destroy this heart house. So this building right here will be the destroy. We're destroying it so the house changes. We're going to click on the step again and we're going to build another one. And we have three of these buildings around here. And so the combination of that becomes a heart house. And this one will now provide different heroes. And also life bonuses every 15 steps so hopefully we will not die before these life bonuses pop out we are risking our hero's life here we got 18 steps let's go get this tree over here i think we can beat this guy yes beat this guy 13 steps though very very close to death Oh, and we ran into a, a creature. Can we beat him? 60 to 2. Sorry, Rose. At this point, the boss is blocking the area, so we can't go down there. So we'll have to use it in a future generation. We're going to move up. Since the, if, if we moved right, the boss could have moved up, which he did. And we could have ended up dying to the boss there. We're generally going to be able to beat Rose here, because Rose is a lot weaker than us. Let's jump up and see what's in this armory house. And we actually picked up another sword too. So the houses that will spawn different things based on what... Ooh, a stunning kip. All right, so we can pick this guy up. We definitely need to breed. Add one rare strength card. Earn 20% fame when killing monsters and enemies. So let's breed eight steps away. And now look at our fame for this generation was 7,132. So we've improved. And you generally should pro uh, try to improve every time. One of his powers was to show you what's out there. So if you want that trait right there, we can click on that tile. We're going to get that trait. Click on some random ones, see what we get. Uh, so we already got that head thing. And it doesn't do any good to actually get the trait again. Oh, and a plus 7 attack. And there we go, guys. We are jumping into our third generation. The tombstone there represents the hero that has died, and then you still got one parent alive. As time progresses, both your parents will end up dying, and we are doing it all over again, trying to explore and uncover new and exciting things in the world here. And you'll notice that this one now is about to die, so that's the signification that it's gonna die. It's fading red. It's like, no, help me, repair me. You need to find a hammer or buy a hammer from a shop to repair these things or just go ahead and purchase it again with gold. And that is the game in a nutshell, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll bring out some more tips, tricks, and cheats on this video, on this game uh, very, very soon as we keep playing and progressing forward. Well, let's finish off by showing you what we were talking about with this additional life down here. So in the bottom, we got plus two. Now we have plus three. Now we have plus two. And you can see we're gaining life gauge over here which is allowing us to walk a little bit further. And also when you progress into new areas that you haven't been before, there's a good chance that you're gonna find, you know, bonus life, like a life pool, things like that, they'll actually help you extend your journey. So exploration is key in this game. It is a lot of fun and very addicting, very um, like time consuming. As you can see, this video is already 25 minutes long and we've only played three generations. My other game, we played 20 some odd generations. Can you think of that? That's a huge amount of time. And I was just trying to like test this game out and see what it's all about. So it's very, very addicting. And if you like this style of exploration, 
board games. Check this out. I believe this is going to be a buy to play game on all the mobile devices. Hopefully it's not more than five bucks or anything like that. So you should be able to grab it whenever. And it would be a great game to play on the airplane or on a train or somewhere where you don't have internet connection because you can play this in airplane mode, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.